Hello, participants of the India International Science Fest. Yes, I'm sharing my slides. Yeah. I will be telling about the activities of the Division of Sleep Research, which is there in the Biomedical Technology Wing of the Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute of Medical Sciences and Technology based in Trivandrum. We are all fascinated by different organisms who are sleeping in different postures, who are sleeping for different durations, some for lesser hours, some for more hours. We do not know why. Further, we have categorized the individuals into two categories. The one who are more active during the daytime, we call them diurnal, and the other one as the nocturnal ones, like owl. Human by nature are diurnal. However, after the invention of the electric bulb, we have become a 24 hour person. So still we like to call the daytime active one as a lot type and the ones who are more active during the night as the owl one. How does that affect our body? These are the questions which needs to be addressed. Also, if you go into the space in the microgravity conditions, what happens to our sleep? Futuristic, interesting questions. Also, we have studied in our childhood that there was a character named as Kumbhakarna in Ramayana who was sleeping for days together and eating for days together. And we know that this condition is known as the klein levin syndrome. Also, another corrector, Joe the fat boy, described by Charles Dickens. He was snoring, he was very fat, he had a sleep problem. Now we know that it's nothing but obstructive sleep apnea. In today's society, many of us are encountering the loss of sleep. So it's very essential to know the effects of sleep deprivation. Several of them have been documented, like metabolic disorders, uh, different uh, conditions, medical conditions, like increase in the hypertension, in risk to the cardiovascular diseases, and so on. So additionally, we also are aware of the fact that there are several kinds of sleep disorders, sleeping less, sleeping more, sleeping at the wrong time, walking during the sleep, shaking during the sleep, especially the legs. These are some of the disease conditions of the sleep. So in the laboratory conditions, we try to understand the mechanisms of the sleep, what happens to the brain. So general used animal is the mice or the rats of different species. So one you see is one of the albino rat in which through the several surgeries, we implant the electrodes and we prepare a head hold, which is looking like this. And we use several machines to understand the brain activity when they are freely moving around. So on the left side, you can see at the bottom one animal peeping out. So on the right side, we can see their electrical activity. Like this, we have several systems. This one is the wireless system to understand their, the brain and the body temperature and the blood pressure. What happens to them if we are making them sleep deprived of different durations? Not only that, we also study the sleep in the babies. That means the, during the development, what happens to their sleep patterns if the mothers are sleep deprived or if they undergo sleep deprivation of different types, which is a common problem of these days. Now, another important thing, the animals are very clever. They don't want us to hear the sound. So they talk in ultrasonic walk range, especially the rat. That's ultrasonic vocalization is a very important acoustic signal to understand their affective state. But for that, we need a special microphone, which you can see on the left, and we need a special software to break that acoustic signal into a viable message. In addition, the effects of sleep deprivation are also understood on their anxiety, the depression, and the learning and the memory, how it is affected. So for that, we have several machines like elevated plus maze, the light transition, radial arm maze to understand their behavior. 
So overall, with the help of these and several other machines, we try to understand the mysteries of the sleep, what happens during the dream, what happens when we are sleep deprived. As sleep is a very important component of our life, we are spending one third of our life in the sleep. So with the message, get regular sleep and stay healthy. I conclude my presentation here. Thank you.